Hey YouTube, welcome back. Bearded Chief here in my living room. No, I'm just kidding. I'm actually here with my son. He's actually a big YouTube star himself. I'm going to introduce him here in a second, but today we're going to cover Gunfighter Beard Company. I'm going to let, let my son tell you a little bit about himself and then we're going to kick this off. Go ahead, son. What's going on YouTube? My name is Dan. I am Kilted Gunsmith 1947. If you're into gunsmithing, firearms, things like that, check out my channel. We're going to do a duet today, something cool. Beard oil and guns. Whoops. What's not to love? Hell yeah. Go ahead and kick it off, Chief. Thank you, son. Uh, Chris is the owner of Gunfighter Beard Co. And Chris is a Marine. Uh, he served from 04 to 10. He got out and he started uh, making custom gun parts, silencers, things like that. And uh, he used to take uh, beard oil that he made for himself. And some of the guys at uh, these gun shows were really digging it and kind of prompted him to, to open up his own uh brick and mortar place so that's what he did in 2018 he came out of the gate swinging and uh today we got his entire lineup of uh all gun related stuff so it's going to be show and go uh, my son's going to talk about the uh the guns i'm going to talk about the beard oil and uh let's get this started uh first one we're going to talk about today is potion number nine this has got a nine millimeter on the front this is really good man i love this one a lot um real quick before i get started in an interview um <clears throat> I ordered four and Chris got a hold of me and he's like, no brother. He said, you're going to get the whole lineup. So he sent me everything and there was a delay on 50 cal. Uh, he says, I'm missing a, a component for the oil. He said, but as soon as I get it, it's yours. And a couple days later, it showed up. So that just tells you what kind of guy this is. Super good guy. All right. Number nine or potion number nine cologne. Super nice. The feel and beard is amazing. Uh, number nine is grapefruit, bergamot, lime, peppercorn, ginger, jasmine, peppermint, cedar, and frankincense. And the feel and beard is really nice. And I love the thin viscosity and how clear it is. Super good. We've got a lot to go through, so I'm going to push it over to my son. Go ahead, son. All right, here I got the Kimber Evo 9 mil. Just to go with the 9 mil, very appropriate. It is a 1911 Striker Fire Hybrid in style function. It looks like a 1911 chambered 9 mil. Great little compact concealed carry firearm. And don't worry, all my safety freaks out there, these have all been cleared multiple times by myself and the chief. And just an FYI, I was Army as well. I wanted to say we skipped something. All of this behind us is brought to you by Powers Defensive Tactics in Steubenville, Ohio. Great gun shop, been working here over a year and a half. Love it. And if you don't live in Ohio, you can also buy the guns online at guns.com. We're going to put all the information to this place right down below. The owner is a veteran. Obviously, Chris, the owner of the company, uh, Gunfighter, is a veteran. My son's a veteran. I'm a veteran. Second Amendment everywhere around us. hoo yah hey, cool. easy day. All right, number two is 45. A nice little picture of some brass, spent brass in the back, 45 caliber. All right, 45 is going to be lime, lemon, ozone, black pepper, basil, cucumber, spice, and vetveer. And this is a nice, sweet, earthy smell. Very nice. Got a light, a light cologne back to it. Very much enjoyed this. Boom. On you. Almost gives you a slight rustic smell, which, of course, you think 45, 1911. You got to go with the 1911. Classics. This is a Springfield Mill Spec. New model off of an old model. Can't go wrong with a good old classic. Heck yeah. Next up, we don't actually have the weapon that is on this picture. This is 50 cal. So Dan's going to do a little bit something different for you. This is 50 cal. Big ass gun right there, baby. Uh, 50 cal is going to be bergamot, lemon lime, grapefruit, jasmine, lavender, sea, uh, cardamom, uh, melon, rose, musk, sandalwood, vanilla, and amber. What a combination. A lot going on in this one. Mm, very earthy. Very much enjoyed this scent. Uh, what do you got over there for us, son? Right here, got 50 BMG, 660 grain projectile. That's a big Whoop. fucking bullet. Followed up with a 9 mil for size comparison. It's a 115 grain. You can literally put almost 11 of these bullets inside that one. That's Good a lot of energy God. power. Ooh. <laughs> Damn, that is a big boy there. All right, next up is Chrome 47 Cologne. Little AK or SKS going on there. What you got there, son? That looks nice. Go got ahead. a mini Draco AK. Good old Kalashnikov style rifle. Kalashnikov. Bleat rifle is fine. <laughs> all right 47 is tea blend i get a lot of tea out of that i get some uh green apple uh it's got bitter orange musk moss you can't go wrong when you put mo moss in in any beard oil i love moss sea spray cedar vetveer amber and tonka 
and I really enjoyed having this in beard. Like I said, uh, all of these are the same carrier blends. I'm going to cover them here in a little bit. Uh, the, the same viscosity, nice and thin, nice clear consistency, and we got a hybrid coming up that I'm going to talk about that is a game changer. So yeah, 47, AK 47. My SKS. favorite. He's had quite a few of them in the past. All right, what you got there? Sawed off, the closest thing to legal, Mossberg 590 shockwave. Mm. 12 gauge, safety hand mm. guard, and stubby grip. Great for breach clearing, you get one of them military style holsters. All my uh, jarheads and soldiers out there that did breaching in Afghanistan and Iraq, you know what I'm talking about. All right, since he showed you the gun, this is sawed off. In the background, you got a bunch of spent 12 gauge rounds just littering the floor. And this was one of the ones I really dug. Um, sawed off is earth. It's an earthy sense, black pepper, and creamy vanilla. Very basic, down to earth, and it's got a nice earthy scent to it, a manly scent. If you're going out playing with guns, boom, this is one you want. And uh, mm, it's got a little sweetness to it, but it's got a lot of earth in it too. It's it's very manly, very masculine scent. I really enjoyed that one very much. Go ahead, we got to talk about this hybrid here in a second. Something really cool, Ruger just released it. It's a Ruger 5.7 LC carbine. And the cool thing about this is it takes the same exact mags as the standard Ruger 5.7 pistol. And it's the hybrid in my opinion because it is the Ruger 5.7 pistol, pistol caliber 5.7 with an AR style takedown, buttstock, M-lock rail, and fire control system. So what's not to love between AR and a Ruger 5.7? Cool. Mm. As a mean, mean looking gun. Okay, I didn't order this, but Chris went ahead and sent it anyhow because this is like a flagship of his. Uh, this is Gentleman, and it is the hybrid beard oil. And I didn't know what to expect. It's super nourishing, super rich, feels great in beard. It's got a one of a kind scent that I absolutely went bonkers for. This was have to, that would have to be number one on my list out of all of these. Uh, let's see. This is going for $22.50. I forgot to mention, all his oils here, they're going for $17. That's right on keel with market average. You can't go wrong with that. Great pricing. Okay, this hybrid is, uh, let's see where I'm at here. Uh, it's aromatic long leaf pipe tobacco and sweet vanilla. Have you smelled this, son? Mm -hmm. Oh. Ooh, that's heavenly. Like oh my that. God. And uh, it's- Second favorite. It's thick. And it, it, a little bit goes a long way. So the first night I put some in, I put a little too much in. <laughs> but, 47 for the win. See, I, I disagree. Okay, what do we got left here? 38? Mm -hmm. All right, 38. It's got a picture of a revolver on there, an old 38 that they would use back in, uh, like, mafia days and stuff. Bunch of spent brass behind them. Now, this one is... Uh, geranium, bergamot, lime, herbal green, lavender, rosemary, moss, and musk. Now this was probably one I didn't, uh, it didn't really hit for me. It's, uh, I think there's too much going on and you can't really pick out one certain scent. Uh, it, it just, it's combination of all of it. And uh, the, yeah, it just didn't hit for me. The rest of them were, were amazing. Uh, the in beard feel on all of them is the same. Super, you, you can't go wrong with that. Um, what are you going to talk about there? Before I bring up the next gun, with the 38, I liked all the scents, but with 38, I feel like there's just a little too much going on. You're not sure, your brain's picking what's what. I mean, you smell all the scents, but it's just like, hey, here's everything. Have a good time with it. But the firearm, of course, of choice to go with the 38. Good old classic Smith & Wesson 38 Special Plus mm. P. It is a concealed carry model, hammerless safety feature. Five shots, ready to go. Typical Saturday Night Live Special type firearm. And great for all the ladies out there. Top choice lately. Put it in Come a purse. On, ladies, don't be sexist. Ladies love these kind of guns yeah. for purses. Slip it right into your purse. Um, the carrier oils are going to be on all of them, except except the hybrid, are going to be sweet almond, coconut oil, argan oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E essential and a fragrance oils. Now on the the hybrid is going to be. Let's see where am I at. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, right here. It's ostrich, rose hips, almond, coconut, jojoba, argon, and vitamin E. And it's going to be a lot thicker. And you don't want this to get cold because it'll start to kind of thicken up on you. So you want to kind of warm it up a little bit. Uh, it will get a little thicker. Don't worry about it. Just give it a little bit of heat. Run some water. Get in between your hands. It'll it'll go back down to its its natural consistency. Little goes a long way. 
it nourished the beard very well. I quite enjoyed this. This has got to be my favorite. And $22.50 versus $17, you're going to pay a little bit more. But this is well worth it. I put it in at night. My God, it, it nourished. It hydrated. It felt good. It smelled amazing. Um, he's got a couple other things going on, too. Now, when I buy beard oil, I like to see a company that has stuff for Mrs. Bearded Chief. And he's got a heck of a lineup for, for the ladies. Uh, it's hair serums, and there's all kinds of scents that you're like, man, that, that sounds really good. Uh, so when you're picking up stuff from Gunfighter, pick up something for the old lady, too. Uh, she's going to thank you, and, uh, yeah, she's, she's going to thank you, and she won't feel too bad about you blowing all the money on beard oil like, like I do. Um, he, he sent me one thing we got to talk about before we go uh, is a beard butter. I'll show you the consistency, and uh, this is Hades. All right, that is the coolest label I've seen, and I've been banging this stuff. Out. Uh, you can't really see that. In the, yeah, there you go. This stuff is really nice. It feels good in beard, and the scent duration is quite a while on this. Very much enjoyed Hades, and this is going to be bergamot, fresh lemon, tonka bean, and olive flower, and I'm not sure if that's Goyak Woods. I'm not really sure, but this has got a a kind of an aquatic, uh, oceanic uh, type kind of flavor to me. So, let's see. Anything else that we missed, son? Not anything that we missed per se, but just a little extra. Some people think 50 cal, they think a muzzle loader, maybe something a little smaller, like a Desert Eagle, typically 50 Action Express. A little smaller. Here's something in between 50 Action Express and 50 BMG. V50 Beowulf, or 12.7 hmm. by 42. This is a straight wall cartridge, and this was actually designed um, after 9-11 um, because it was used to stop engine blocks and vehicles. Obviously, it wasn't officially adopted for long because it wasn't as effective as they thought it was. But, hey, 50 cal awesomeness. Well, you got to stop a truck. Mm -hmm. That's what you want. You punch engines. <laughs> I want to thank Bill, the owner of Powers. I want to thank Chris, the owner of Gunfighter. I want to thank my son. I'm going to put all the information to, to, to Powers Defense Tactics down below. I'm going to put the, uh, the web address for Gunfighter Beard Co. down below. And I'm going to put my son's YouTube channel. He's Kilted Gunsmith 1947 down below. Go hit him up. He's way bigger than Dad is ever going to be. Trust me. Does a great job. Talks about guns, uh, bluing, repairing, firing. He does all kinds of stuff. If there's a video out there, he's probably made it. How many do you have now? Uh, I would say I have probably over 50 videos, roughly. Yeah. And I got more coming very soon, so stay tuned. How many subscribers you got? Uh, last I checked, I was at 417 subscribers. I'm not as big as he said I was earlier. But That's a lot. Getting there. That's a lot. Okay, I've had a great time. I think my son and I should do a little bit more of this in the future. Definitely. Definitely, sure. And I want, like I said, I want to thank uh, Powers Defense Tactics for letting me borrow his living room. I, I wish this was my living room. I want to thank Chris as well. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you later. See y'all next bye -bye. time.